So, George, you come here as a true freshman. You're carrying such a huge load right now. What's this entire experience been like for you this year? Uh, the experience has been pretty, pretty good. Just coming in, um, trying to adapt to like the intensity of the game, and um, just trying to come out and compete, and just learn a lot of new stuff. Coach Harson's mentioned a couple times you came from a really good high school, competed against a lot of really good guys. How do you feel like that experience that prepared you for this experience? I think that uh, experience it helped me just prepare and just like uh, just come in and just compete like the competition in, in my old high school. Uh, it was pretty high. We played uh, against teams all over the country and um, it was pretty much the same thing as here, like how practice was organized and how everything was. Um, how we had different periods out of the whole practice. So, yeah. What's it been like for you to be able to contribute right away? I mean, you know, against Florida State, you're contributing right off the bat, and obviously in recent weeks you've really ramped it up. But what's that been like for you? Just that, that opportunity. Um, it's been great. Like just the coaches having a lot of trust in me, and just believing that I can go out there and execute my 111. If you to be so productive, I mean, you, I don't know if that's been, if it's dawned on you yet, but just obviously true freshmen have been able to really make that sort of an impact here a lot of times. What's that been like? Uh, it's been pretty good, like learning from like vets and older players like Rob Mahome and Andrew Van Buren and just teaching me like um, how to pick up blitzes, how to read gap schemes and hit it. Yeah. What do you think of the nickname Baby Saquon? <laughs> um, Shoot, no comment. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> Do some of your teammates call you that, though? I think it was David. I swear it was David, David Moe that yeah. claimed that he, he gave you that nickname. Yes, sir. Um, that's that's a pretty cool nickname, I guess. But, but yeah, I have no comment. <laughs> As a true freshman, I mean, I mean, a lot of true freshmen redshirt and don't get a chance to play or barely play. I mean, did you I, – I assume you had confidence in yourself. I mean, is this what you expected to happen or hoped to happen? Or have you played more – done more than you thought you would? Or um, – I mean, I just uh, just came out and started like coaches always emphasizing uh, practice performance equals game reality. So just going out there and just practicing hard and trusting my old line to do the thing and dominating up front. Uh, yeah. George, what, what did you do to uh, physically prepare yourself for this? Because that's another thing that coaches and teammates have always said about you is that you you were physically mature when you came here and you put yourself in a position to to do what you do. I would say the weight room plays a huge part in that. Uh, just being in there, um, just getting stronger. Coach Tyson always honest about that, and I think that's an important factor. When, when did that kind of dawn on you that that was the case, and, and did you start doing more at any point in time, or uh, to get ready for college, or have you kind of always been like this? Um, it's always kind of been like this. Just just working hard, and yeah, that's about it. We asked you what it was like in high school, but what was it like growing up in, the, in in your family? I know you have a lot of siblings and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I had like ten siblings growing up. Yeah. It was it was pretty rough, you know. Yeah. Um, always moving around, mm -hmm. um, but growing up, I think the struggles that I went through actually helped me become a better person today. Yeah, Har Arson kind of said that, like you know, sacrifices your family might have made and stuff like that in, in in your life, and you know, going to a private school and stuff probably had to, you know, they had, they had to do that sort of thing. So, what was it like? And I, I know you uh, were probably like a babysitter growing up, mostly, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, it was it was pretty good. Um, I was going uh, catching a train in the morning, going to school, coming back, same thing every day. Um, but it was pretty good. Does that kind of teach you like a, a work ethic or something like that? Just, you know, obviously, like you said, you, you, you kind of had to work hard pretty much since day one, I guess. Yes, sir. It's just basically like hard work does pay off and it doesn't go unnoticed. And uh, coaches always notice that. So, yeah, just keep working. George, growing up, is there a running back that you model your game after you look up to? Uh, no, not really. I just like just watching football just to watch it. And, yeah, just watching different running backs. How do you feel like you've gotten better as the season has, has gone along? And I, I, mean, I could be wrong, but it seems like you're, you're able to feel stuff out a little bit better now. Uh, definitely the, men, the mental part of it, um, being able to come here and just learn like new plays and um, just just getting faster and stronger. So. There's this uh, 
there's a streak at this school where they've had a thousand yard rusher for right. 10 straight seasons. <laughs> I, you know, we, we talked with both um, Andrew and Robert at the beginning of the season, and they acknowledged that that was an important streak to them. I mean, what, what does that streak mean to you? Um, it means a lot, you know. Um, definitely, like, a big opportunity this week uh, going into this game and just trying to get that 1,000 yard and just hit it. Did they use that when they were recruiting you and stuff? I mean, did they, were you aware, I guess, of the, how long, you know, it's 10 years in a row now and the, you guys have the longest streak in the country? I mean, is that a big deal, I guess, you know, to, to why you might want to come here or why run, future running backs might want to come here? Uh, definitely. Uh, coming into Boise, I knew it was like, it was like running back university, you know. Like a lot of running backs come here, they produce a lot of great running backs like JHI, Doug Martin, and all these other great running backs, so yes, sir. What's it like to be now maybe potentially part of that elite class? And you mentioned those guys, there's McNichols and there's Madison. You know, it's just, there's so many you can rattle through. Yes, sir. I'd like to have that, that chance to maybe be among that group. Uh, that would be, that'd be nice. <laughs> just, um, yeah, that'd be nice. You gotta keep working. Thinking back to your high school career, is there a performance or a memory that always stands out to you? Kind of, kind of one is it that's your favorite? Um, <coughs> big game you had or a moment in practice, anything? A big game, a big game for me is always modern day. Probably the first time we played them, and like we beat them the first time, so that was a big game. Did you, for me. Did you, did you put big numbers that day? I, I had an all right game. <laughs> <laughs> you put up pretty big numbers yeah. on Saturday. Your, your very first carry goes for 35 yards. When you hit that early on, what does that do for a running back? Um, it definitely builds momentum for a running back in the run game, passing game. It opens up uh, a lot of windows for the passing game. Um, just we went over this earlier, like before game day. Coach Harson just bring out the boys uh, ten minutes um, earlier before meetings, and just walking through the types of uh, different looks we're gonna get. Mm -hmm. So that, that definitely that's helped. just the running backs you brought out, or, or the running uh, back, the O line, or O line, running backs, wide receivers, everyone. Nice. How yeah. long have you got, how, how long has he been doing that? Uh, that was the first time we did that. Really? Yeah. Before this game? Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. From, from you know. We did, we do talk about the names, J.H.I., Jeremy McNichols, Alexander Madison. Have you watched those guys, looked up to those guys? I mean, Definitely. I always looked up to those guys, um, especially like, like Alex Madison, like coming over here, like just teaching the running backs, like um, new stuff. And, yeah, definitely look up to those guys. Sorry. All right, thanks, George. Did you talk so much when you